All right, I thought uh, today, you know, it's another good work day. Uh, you know, got really pushing our guys this week. Um, you know, getting a, getting a, a little bit more of, of the uh, the speed work against each other. Um, you know, I like I like the way the guys have uh, have, have responded. Uh, you know, still things that you know, with, you know, obviously Wednesday practice working third down situations. We know that's a huge emphasis for us. Uh, you know, we got to we got to continue to to, to you know, push and clean up and take ownership in the communication. Um, you know, and that's offensively, defensively. You know, every, it's just all the details. And uh, you know, for our guys, I mean, I, they they see it, they know it. They, we just got to continue to to rep it and play fast with it. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's understanding what you could see and then being able to respond to everything that that shows up. But uh, you know, I think we've gotten good work this week. Uh, you know, I like I like you know the the mindset of this team. Um, you know, yesterday, you know, GPS wise, you know, and you, know, you guys don't ever see it, but I mean, it was. It was one of the uh, one of the most explosive practices that we've had. Um, you know, I thought today we got some really good work in as well. So, uh, you know, just continue to push and, and prepare everything. It'll be our best come Saturday. When you come to when you when you, when you research third downs uh, on both sides of the ball, were there common factors that were creating issues? Or, or was it... uh, you know, I mean, there's there's different variants. I mean, there's it depends on game. Um, you know, there's times that you know, defenses had. Did a good job. They played. They they broke up a pass. They they uh, um, you know they had a good good blitz that, that brought challenges or twist games. And somebody got got beat. Uh, you can help that with fundamentals, technique, eyes, all those things. Uh, there's some that we just you know didn't finish the play when we were in position to uh, uh, to make it. And that's offense, defense. Um, you know it, it, everything everything ties together. But it's you know defensively, I think as much is just the, the the communication of you know what we're seeing, making sure we're all on point. Uh, understanding situation too. I mean, who are you playing? I mean, you know, we played when we played Boston College. Obviously, they had a they had a third down plan, and you know, defensively, um, we've had really good moments on third downs. And then there's been a few. You know, Boston College, we were not very good in that game. Uh, you know, there. You know, we had a, a slow start there uh, last week, but I thought you know guys responded. But um, uh, you know, it's just you got to you got to have an understanding of what you're being asked to do, and then you know be able to go and execute. You can't just be a blanket. All right. Here's a third down, and this is what this is what it's going to be every week. You know, you got to you got to be able to play smart, uh, be able to apply it in the moment, and then uh, you know, obviously you continue to improve those experiences. How did Rob's body respond to the work he got yesterday, and how much were you able to put him through today? No, I mean, he got so he got some work today. Obviously, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it's still building all throughout the course of the week, getting ready for Saturday. So um, you know, I'm excited about where where that'll go. We'll see what that looks like as as the week progresses. You mentioned last week I mean, on Monday that um, you guys want to start the game faster in defense. Is that a pregame switch, or like how do you guys start faster? No, I mean it's it's you know ultimately it's just us being able to come out and and I say execute you know, but it is that you know that take all the things you've done in practice and then in the moment with with everything out there you know be able to go play play in confidence with that. Um, you know, like I said, it hasn't been awful. We've had some fast starts, but but ultimately you know, that's something that we want to see better. And uh, you know, it's just being able to bring that intensity to when you come out and practice, um, whenever you, you you get a chance as you're, as you're building to it, and then you know, going out there and just playing the game once once it kicks off. How important is somebody like Darius? I mean, they can play. Well, can you even articulate how valuable that no, is? I mean, it's somebody? it's he really. I mean, what his versatility of what he does, um, and and the ability that he has. I mean, that's. You know, he's had a an interesting college journey. You look at some of the injuries that he dealt with, some of the off seasons that he missed. Um, you know, but he's a battler. I mean, he's you know, I, I told him today, man. I just I love coaching him. I love that kid. He's just just uh, just so many things, and he embraces that. He's very smart. Um, you know, he's got a, a diverse skill set, and you know, just uh, no, you can't really put it into words just what he means to this team because all the things he can do. Good. You talk about communication a lot, particularly on defense, some breakdowns in communication. For the listener, can you explain what you really mean by communication? What are they communicating? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's all things. Sometimes it's blitzes, sometimes it's, it's uh, you know, coverages, it's, you know, adjustments to certain looks that we that we need to have to be in the, be in the best position, um, you know, you know, people are not just going to line up, and I'm not against us. You're not going to line up and just be stagnant in one one formation. I mean, you're going to see all different things that can cause stress on the defense. You know, we're going to face, and you know, people are going to get the ball out quick. They're going to try to, you know, pick, rub, you know, 
bunch cluster unbalanced motions all things that force you to communicate defensively um, that's that's going to show up and you know when you do a, a, a Good job of that. You know, you're, you're putting guys in the best position to be able to, to be successful. Uh, if there is a breakdown, then there's opportunities of either open gaps or, uh, you know, uh, if it happens in coverage, sometimes avoid in a in a uh, in an area or you know, some uh, times we've had guys that have been cut loose that, that don't need to be. So, uh, um, you know, it's all a, it's a big picture, but it's it's not just going out there and just playing one call and just close your eyes and seeing how it played. I mean, it's, there's a lot of different moving pieces that are going to roll with that. Coach, let me follow up this one question. How important is the, the experience of the safety position to the communication? No, it's big. It is. And, uh, you know, obviously we had uh, Joachim, when he went down, I mean, that's a three-year three -year starter that's that's played a lot of ball. And, uh, um, you know, it, we kind of – Kind of hit a perfect, you know, one of those perfect negative storms. That we kind of, we kind of ran into. Uh, you know, Kevin Knowles missed a lot of fall camp. Um, you know, and it's just a repetition of all of those things. And you know, he kind of got thrust into heavy action there uh, that BC week. Um, you know, you look at other guys that maybe might not have as much experience. Uh, you know, Shy, Shy has really done a, a good job of growing up. But you got a couple of newcomers there at safety, by, uh, you know, behind them. So, um, you know, it's those are things that you just kind of. You got to have it, and the only way you you, you get it is you know, through through those on field experiences and what you do in practice. So I think those guys have grown up. Uh, you know, I think that uh, you know they're, they're building in their confidence, but uh, they're excited about you know Akeem coming back, but also the, the positive steps that we've seen in those guys the last couple of weeks. Is Dustin, get, is Dustin getting more, more comfortable? Yeah, he is, and I mean it's you, know, you see that. I mean just as as the season progresses, more time, more reps. Uh, you know, better details, you know, and those are all things that, that are uh, uh, continuing to show up.